Some slither along the ground in a serpentine motion, using their muscles and scales to push against the terrain. These are the most common and include species like the rattlesnake and python. Others, like the sidewinder rattlesnake, use a distinctive sidewinding motion to traverse sandy or slippery surfaces. Then there are the sea snakes, which have evolved flattened tails to propel themselves through water. They are a sight to behold, gliding gracefully beneath the waves. Some of them, like the yellow-bellied sea snake, can even fly through water using their entire bodies to create an undulating wave motion. Snakes also vary greatly in size. The smallest snake, the Barbados thread snake, measures a mere four inches in length, while the reticulated python, the longest snake in the world, can grow to over 28 feet. Some snakes, like the king cobra, are ophiophagous, which means they eat other snakes. Others prefer a diet of small rodents, birds, or eggs, yet some, like the tentacled snake, have evolved to eat fish and can be found lurking in freshwater habitats. Some snakes, like the black mamba, possess potent neurotoxic venom that attacks the nervous system. Others, like the Russell's viper, have hematoxic venom which affects the blood and tissue of their victims. Then there are species like the garter snake, which are essentially harmless to humans. They produce a mild venom to subdue their prey but pose little threat unless you're a small amphibian or rodent. In conclusion, the world of snakes is as diverse as it is fascinating. From the way they move, to their size, diet, and the potency of their venom, each species of snake is unique. This diversity is a testament to the power of evolution and the adaptability of life on Earth. So next time you think about snakes, remember, they're not just simple slithering reptiles, they're a diverse group of creatures, each with their own unique set of characteristics and behaviors. They are a testament to the richness and diversity of life on our planet.